Hey guys, it's Mike Herzing. Let's talk wheels. SB Nation Radio Network. Got my, got one of my favorite people in the whole world, Scott Talon here from FCA. We're at the Chelsea Proving Grounds. Got the JL. Uh, I mean, this is an awesome vehicle. Scott, you ought to be so proud and then again so scared because you got so much to do. Uh, FCA has now decided that they're going to double the size of your production and everything, and you should be so very afraid. <laughs> well, af afraid and excited at the same yeah, time. You know, you if go. you look back just a couple of years ago, we, we've essentially doubled our, our business from yeah. just three to four years ago. So, you know, the momentum continues, and it's all driven by product. I mean, we talk about the JL because it is the icon of the brand, and this is an all-new vehicle, you know, it, it, over a decade before we replaced it, and yet the demand for it and the consumer reaction from our customers is been overwhelmingly positive. So I think we absolutely have, have nailed the new Wrangler. Uh, the demand is really strong, continues to be great right now. But also, you know, we just launched an all new Cherokee too for 2019, you know, heavily redesigned front end, the back end, more efficient, more content, more features. And we essentially, we didn't change the price on it. So great value in the marketplace. So it's an exciting time, but yeah, there's some additional growth opportunities, I think, as we look out over the next couple of years. Yeah. The Wrangler, guys, the Wrangler is sure enough, the poster child for Jeep. It is, you know, what won the war. I have my 46 model, my 53 model, and for the 38A1, I have all the military Jeeps. Everybody thinks of that. This is the Jeep. This is the this is the Jeep. But then again, you know, you've, like I said, you've got the Renegade, you've got the Cherokee, you've got the Grand Cherokee. They want to make it three row. Now, then they're going to have the Wagoneer, the Grand Wagoneer. I have so many people. There's not a day that goes by that I won't go and check my email and someone and we'll say, hi, can you ask your friend, when when, when can I get a Grand Cher Grand Wagoneer? When will the Wagoneers and Grand Wagoneers show up? And what are the colors going to be? And I'm like, <laughs> this is a little premature, but I'll ask. No, I mean, guys, it's never going to end. There's just going to be so many more products that need to have this name right here, Jeep, you know, right here on it. It's just, it never ends, does it? No, it's, it's, it is exciting. So while we'll continue to, to really focus on the core lineup that we have, because really you, you mentioned the Renegade, that's the entry level point to the brand. What a great vehicle. And it turned out so cool. It is. It's, it's, it's very unique in the marketplace, yet very, you know, instantly recognizable as a Jeep vehicle. So you, you, you see the lineage even right here to the, the, the Renegade, uh, the Renegade and the Wrangler, you see the ties, a lot of right angles, round headlamps, instantly a Jeep, but it's the entry level to the brand, but the new compass, we just launched last year it's only been in market for 12 months and what we're seeing is a new buyer coming to the jeep yeah, brand. great vehicle too absolutely and so as the the uv markets continue to expand and, and draw more customers in certainly there's more competition but it also there's some open white space for jeep to explore over the next couple of years so you mentioned a couple of the products that's going to be exciting that will certainly drive our growth over the next few years but also the continued product actions that we have with the existing lineup um, those two combined i think has uh, you know it's on a very solid foundation right now yeah. Yeah, but for years, not only did Jeep compete on the low end of the market and the off-road end of the market, but the guys that were the country club folks, the 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 the, the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer were the ones when you would see the Hollywood types, you know, the yeah. the stuff like that. You, they were the the country club folks, and and you see right now, you see a, a mid an early '80s model Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer. They're worth some coins, and they're great vehicles, but they're not nearly as great as a brand new one would be. No, so it, it has a, you know, much like the Wrangler, a reputation to, to uphold and, and live up to. Uh, really high expectations, because you're right, that was a very premium position. It was a luxury vehicle. It was the, it was a country. And all these Suburbans and things are being sold that could actually easily be your market. Yeah, they absolutely could be. And and again, I think that we'll bring it to market in a way that only Jeep can. So um, I, I'm excited for the product. And um, again, it's going to be a big part of our portfolio going forward. And I think that, you know, we'll have the bookends all the way from Wrangler to, you know, what is a large SUV too. Yeah, guys, so it's going to be fun. Tell you what, it just having a Jeep like this and, and doing this kind of stuff, it's just going to be so much fun. Another year from now, you know, we're going to have the Jeep pickup truck coming. We've got, then we're going to have to worry about the, the three-row Grand Cherokee. Then we're going to have to worry about the Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer. There's just so many things. There's just, but there's only one of you. <laughs> there's, there's so much stuff. Only one, but you know what? It's 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 been a lot of fun. Again, we've seen this growth, you know, take place over the last three to 
to four years. And and really, if we execute the plan as, as it's been laid out, um, I, I think that in two to three years, we'll be having a very similar conversation about the growth that Jeep has experienced um, with this existing product, with some of this white space, bringing new products to, to the market. But, you know, staying true to what the brand is, the brand matters in the marketplace. So we, we think that that's an important part of this growth strategy as we go forward is to keep that DNA, those core values in place in all the new models that we bring out. There's not very car brands that you can that you can think about that helped win a war. I mean, it was, yeah, they didn't have a, they had a pretty big part, but uh, it's just, you know, they're, they're just so iconic. You just see them. And I'm sure all the way up to the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer, they're going to look, you're going to look at the, look at the grill and you're going to see that it's a Jeep. Am I right? Yeah, that's 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 one of those the you know, hallmark styling cues of all the Jeeps, the seven slot grill, trapezoidal wheel arches. It's all these little nuances that add up that make us distinctive in the marketplace that we're going to stick to that you know, to your point, go back to the very beginning, 1941 when the the first Willys came off the line, the you know, very they pushed them out of airplanes. Pushed them out of airplanes and it was very much purpose built, a utility vehicle that needed capability. So the utility, the capability, that was what it was at the core of the original Willys. Guess what? Today, that's still core at the brand, but now we can bring in the, the technology, the connectivity, the fuel efficiency, all these convenience options that you couldn't have before. You know what? It's it's really an every man, everyday vehicle. Yeah, it really is. And it's reliable. I mean, I'm looking at the JD Powers survey the other day and you're, you're right there with Lexus and, and things like that. And you know, you didn't can't say that about Jeep a few years ago. Thanks to, to Scott here and his gang. Uh, these guys are doing great. If you haven't looked at a Jeep lately, folks, you need to go to Jeep USA. Uh, com. You need to go look anywhere. Go to your Jeep dealer. I highly recommend it. Uh, they're going to have some neat new stuff coming. You can check with Let's Talk Wheels com on the Let's Talk Wheels Radio Network. This is Mike Kersing and our good friend Scott Talon, little brother here. He uh, he's it. The, these guys, him him, uh, Jim Morrison. These guys have actually just put their heart and soul into these into into Ram and Jeep. And these are the guys. These are the reasons that these brands are doing so well. And thanks, guys. Too kind, Mike.